Hey you guys, welcome back to Gina's Beauty Room. So today I'm finally gonna do it. It's the bathroom tour. Here is the door to my bathroom. As you can see, this is my beauty room over here. So here is my bathroom. Okay, so let's see. Here is how it looks when I open the door. So, I mean, all this isn't going to be exactly how, like 100% how I ultimately wanted, but this is just for now. And of course, throughout the journey with me, y'all will get to see updates and how I rearrange stuff in here. But for now, this is what I got. And um, yeah, I just hope you enjoy. So yes, I do have my light switches over here on this wall and I don't have anything on the wall right here surprisingly this bathroom had a fan but eventually i want to switch out that fan for like a like a chandelier you know here we go i don't know where to start here let me close the door behind me so let's go ahead and start so i did close the door so on this side you see um i do have like a little rack up there i got from maybe marshall's or ross like a while back when i was into that colored hot pink versus like a pastel pink. I do have some bags hung on there on that over the door rack. And that's what it contains right there. I do also have my broom that I bought at Marshall's for $9.99, I believe. So I just have that there just so it's, it's easily accessible. I don't have to go to the garage, go get a, you know, a broom or, or whatever. So I just have my own pink one here. So, yeah, and you're gonna see some scratches right there. That's when my Labrador was a baby and every time we put him in here, he would like scratch to come out to try to find us. And <laughs> little puppies and baseboards do not mix. <laughs> okay, so here I do have my nail polish racks. My most recent nail polishes are these Madame Glam Nail Addicts. I do have double dipped powder, um, the dip coat activator, the base, the top coat. Then I have some OPI. I got some Orly. A couple of those need to be shaken up. Um, for the most part, I don't use those up there, but I just love how pretty the lids look. So the ones I use are the bottom two right here. Okay, and then, so on this, this leads into my closet door. And I do have a closet tour. If y'all want to go check it out, I'll link it down below. But that's what's behind that door. So I do have two of the overdoor hangers right there also with some more bags that I didn't have room inside my closet for. So then we come here. So right here, I do have a wall full of acrylic shelves. Let me see if I can. Okay, so you see how they're about two inches wide. And they're pretty thick acrylic. I think I got those on Amazon, I want to say. More than likely, I did. And I think they came like a pack of three, I would say, or maybe a pack of two. But I do like to display all my products. That way I can see it. And I'm more capable of using it. So, with that being said, the two bottom ones are going to be the majority masks. And this brand I really, really like. So, and then this one will be a lot of e.l.f. products. Body lotions, body butters. I got some e.l.f. Uh, hydrating water essence there. Um, I got hand lotion. Just like a mixture on this one. Now, this one has the majority of my hair products. Um, pink hair products at that because I have other hair products <laughs> that are in another drawer. But yes, I do have a variety. I got one shower gel there, a mask. This one's pretty. This is the Chi and Barbie collab. I like that one. Um, and I got those at Ulta when they first came out. And then up here, I got more of my shower gels, face cleansers. This brand cake I got from Ulta. These I got from Soap and Glory, I got from Target, the Creme Shop um, facial foams I got at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, this one I got in a boxy charm. This one I got in a boxy charm, boxy charm. So there's just a variety, and I got self tanning. 
items up there with body shimmers from Becca up there as well. So there is that. So now if I come this way, I have my little bathroom area and it does have a sliding door. But if you go in here, I got a couple more. These are, are displayed or titled bookshelf acrylic wall shelves, you know? They're very, very thick, by the way. Um, so like the backing goes up about nine inches tall and they're probably about an, uh, like two inches wide as well. And you can put a lot of heavy books on there, magazines, and they're probably a meter wide. So those are pretty big. So I do display my Bath and Body Works sprays, lotions. I think that's a great way to display items is like on acrylic shelving, you see? So here I just put like a little, I don't know if you can, a little end table there. And I bought it at a garage sale and it was yellow, like a bright yellow. So I just painted it a chalk paint white and it came out really, really nice. So on the top, I just have miscellaneous stuff, some body scrubs. I got a little plant. I got a tiered little thingamajigger there. Just a variety of stuff. This one I just have here for now. I don't know. It shouldn't even be in there. Up here, I do have a little flesh sign I got at um, Hobby Lobby, I want to say. Yeah, I got that at Hobby Lobby. And then this canvas painting I got at Home Goods. So, so pretty. And then if you come in here, I haven't painted those yet, but I already did the knobs. They're like a pink crystal knob. So, but I'll show you the other ones on this side. But there's another little beautiful canvas that of course looks more realistic, that painting. That one I got at Home Goods as well. This acrylic holder is kind of like a wine like you could put ice in it and it's a wine holder, you know what I mean? But anyways, I used it for towels, for decor. And then I just put a hand towel on the top of the toilet. And that just makes it look real simple and pretty. And this trash can I got at Home Goods, And it's a pretty big trash can right there. So the rug I got on Amazon, I believe. Okay, so now that we're done with that. So all this side... This was pretty tough. I know I wanted, I knew I wanted shelves. I knew I wanted like a different color and I knew I wanted it a darker color. So I did go with like a real dark charcoal gray cause I wanted the white and the pastels to pop. And I really think it looks, you know, really nice. And then along these walls, they're more of a lighter gray. I got more acrylic shelving. These ones I did purchase on Amazon. These are a little bit different. These are more durable than those. So I do have more little pink stuff. I have my soaps that I tell y'all about that I like to display, little canisters. I got little mini soaps that my husband got me for Christmas. These right here, you can always find those in the bathroom section at Home Goods for very inexpensive too. So I got all sizes if you can see. And yeah, a little vase up there I got at the Dollar General. Little unicorn figurine up there, candlesticks. Those I painted pink. They were a silver color when I had them. I was going to donate them, but I'm like, why if I can paint it, you know, pink? So I did that. These unicorn little boxes have soaps in them, and I got those at Ross. And then there's some more of those canisters. And then I just have a little um, succulent greenery, faux greenery plant planter right there. And then I got heart. These I found on Amazon, they're heart facial scrubs. And they're very gentle on the skin. And then I have my Q-tips there. I do have a little end table with more storage. So I just have miscellaneous stuff in there. I'm not gonna go through that. This one I got at the baby section at Home Goods, and it's just a little basket. It has dividers in there, and I just put, you know, little uh, flowers, <laughs> little towels, hand towels and stuff. I have some bath salts right there. So right over here, I do have this wall. This one I love so much. It's very simple, 
but it looks so elegant. First of all, the shelves I did pick up at Home Goods. I think they were like $16.99 a piece and they are about maybe 30, like a yard width. And then the depth is about six inches. Um, they're very, very sturdy. And I just love the detail of them. Let me show you the detail. Isn't that beautiful? So on the tops of these, I do have like this relax sign I got at Home Goods. Those two faux succulents I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece. A basket I picked up at Marshalls. Those hand towels I picked up at Home Goods. Um, what else? That vase I already had. That I already had. I just, I've had that forever and I painted it pink. It was like a, a dark black. And then up here I do have this beautiful painting, very simple. Found that at Home Goods, and the pricing was just right as well. Then I got a little canister of cotton rounds. I got a little vase that I've had forever, and I just thought that maybe that's a perfect pop of color. And then that bonsai faux tree I got at Hobby Lobby, maybe? I wanna say, I'm not quite, quite sure. So if we come to see the tub, the jet tub, I do have these little shelves that I did pick up from eBay. So they were new, um, just somebody was selling them, repackaged. So they're kind of like a baby blue color. So it matched that up there. So I found that went perfect. So if I come back here, I do have two shelves you know, in there with more bath and body stuff. I got girl power, self-care, body prescriptions, uh, body scrub. I got bath bombs. I got soaps for decor. And that's a facial scrub up there, you know, and these canisters I got at uh, TJ Maxx, you know, and I love the rose at the top of that canister. Just, I just think it's real pretty for this area. Then over here, these three big glass canisters are from Home Goods, and they were various prices. They're various shapes, and I think it looks really, really pretty there. So that's a little candle right there. So when I feel like taking a bath, I can light the candle, make it real cozy in here. And then I just have other like bath salts over there. I got a a little shadow box that, I mean, I just put it there. It looks real cute. So there's another one of those shelves. And then this curtain I found at Marshall's and it's quite sheer, but I liked that about this curtain. I find it's very dainty, if you can see. It's very dainty, but yet it gives a light pastel uh, color to the area and it just looks, it looks so cozy at night with the lamp light and everything. And I find it's very cozy all in this area at nighttime. Okay, so moving on to this side. Let me see if I can back up as much as I can. Okay, so these cabinets I painted pink and I don't know what the exact color is. I know it was leftover pink paint that I had. I know I got it at Lowe's but I turned that paint into like a chalk paint and then I just painted every, you know, every, I, I dusted off the wood color because it was this, it was this wood grain before. And then I painted it this pink and I, I just added, I drilled some holes and I put those pink little diamond knobs and it came out very, very pretty. I replaced the knobs there as well. I love the mirror, it's huge. It makes the bathroom look even bigger. And then I added those little stickers that I purchased at the Dollar Tree up there. I put a little lamp in the corner. Here's a rose little night light that I put right there. It looks so, so nice at night. And then, so I need to get two more light bulbs for that. But up here I do have this little deer head that I picked up, I, I wanna say, I'm trying to think, maybe Hobby Lobby. And then that frame I picked up, it had a mirror in it. I picked it up at Ross and I took out the mirror and I just put it around the deer head. 
And then I just added those stickers as well. So up here I have a little succulent, a faux succulent plant. I got this little Ray Dunn three-tier shelf there. It's kind of like a wrought iron, but it's pink. And then I do have this. It was gold and I painted it pastel pink. So that's what you can do is repurpose products that you have and paint it to your desired color. So this is a room spray right here. I have another one of these glass canisters. I put lotions in there, very pretty pastel colors. And then here, this was a candle and I um, repurposed it and I put Q-tips in here. And it came with the lid, the candle, and I just kept it and look how cute that looks. It's a little cupcake. So I got my soaps from Bath and Body Works. I got my Facial Clinique facial scrubber. And then what's cool right here, I didn't want to go with one of those rings, you know, to put your hand towels. I wanted something different. So all I did was I added this adhesive little hook. I think they, it's a robe hook. And I use it for, I like to use these microfiber hair towels for drying my hands. So I just found this to be a great solution for the area. Okay, and then up here, this shelf, oh my gosh, I never wanted to get rid of this ever. It's been with me through other apartments and everything, and I finally brought it here, and I wanted to use it either in my beauty room, my closet, or in here, which I found it to be perfect when I put it in this spot. So these drawers are functional. I put my Bath and Body Works, and this one I got at Hobby Lobby. So I put all my lotions, I got my TheraBreath Oral Rinse there, I got my Vior Facial Foam, I got my micellar water from Soap and Glory, I got little minis of the Bath and Body Works lotions. Yeah, I just have a little timer right there, that one's cute. I think I picked that up at Marshalls for when I do my facial masks. And then my little gummy soaps right there. Well, they're not little, they're, they're big, <laughs> they're big, but. Um, and then I do have a little clock here. So when I get ready in the mornings for work, I can know what time it is when I'm in here as well. These cabinets, so this is where I keep my towels, my hand towels, my washcloths. See, this is the color the cabinets were before. So I totally didn't want that color in here. So up there I have stationary stuff, just excess stuff that I wanna put away and conceal, I'll put it up there. And there's a lot of room in here too. These are pretty big. And then at the bottom, I, I use it for, so this is supposed to be a hamper, but I just use it for extra storage, more towels. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, let's see, I have like cleaning stuff in here. Uh, let's see, I have uh, empties there. I have like shavers there. I got just different stuff that I put away. Here's my excess soaps from Bath and Body Works. I, I have uh, facial masks back there, lotions there. Yeah, it's just a variety of stuff that I have put away. But yes, you guys, so this is my bathroom and I've been wanting to film it and I finally did. I do hope that you enjoyed this bathroom tour. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You guys, thank you so much for watching, for clicking on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And yes, you guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye.